Michael Mastro, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to look at the coronation of King Charles III uh, that happened on May 6th. Uh, first we'll look and see, uh, look at uh, King Charles's chart itself. Uh, he was, uh, if you look to the eastern horizon using Vedic sidereal zodiac, not western tropical zodiac, you would see the constellation associated with Cancer. Uh, rising at uh, 12 degrees. Uh, let's just look and see how these planets are operating in this chart. So Sun is uh, weak in old age. Any planet more than 25 degrees uh, can't uh, promote or, or protect its own significations. So, uh, and, um, so it's at 29. It gives wealth through his father. It's ruling the house of wealth. And um, it uh, gives him a political or government life, um, a lack of stability in marriage, um, and, and a contentious relationship with his father because it is weak. Uh, moon is afflicted by Jupiter, so it is also weak. Uh, that moon is ruling the chart, and it gives um, his life purpose or destiny through helping others, charities, it, he gives him a gentle, sensitive nature um, a, in his uh, purpose through raising public awareness of the environment. Mars is also in old age week, uh, gives career through uh, military, uh, ruling the house of career, and uh, investing in startups. Uh, Mercury is afflicted by K2 and Saturn and uh, gives controversial speech. Mercury is ruling his house of success and, and expression. Um, uh, he does have some writings and pub published some things. Uh, that's also there. Uh, Jupiter uh, is ruling his house of he health and healing and conflict. So it gave some conflict at home. Jupiter is... Um, with uh, his first marriage and um, uh, it also uh, gave him inheritance. Uh, let's see, uh, Venus is at uh, 23 degrees, um, it rules the house of home life and um, gave him a beautiful wife and uh, it is sitting in the house of um, success. Saturn, uh, she was successful, and Saturn uh, is ruling the house of vulnerability and life-changing transformational events. And uh, it, it gave him uh, issues with, you know, early in his life, uh, being able to, uh, getting recognition, struggling with uh, uh, his self-worth, um, and he wasn't in, was interested in occult and secretive things. Uh, Rahu and K2 are always opposite each other, and this is uh, causes uh, imbalance in home and work life. So he's he's learning about that. Um, timing of events. Uh, got married, uh, oh, excuse me, got divorced in uh, 96 during a Rahu period, Rahu causing unexpected events. Uh, he had an accident in 01 during a Rahu Saturn period. Um, Rahu can cause accidents and Saturn is ruling the house of accidents. He tested positive for COVID in 20, 2020 during a Jupiter period. Jupiter is um, ruling the house of health issues. Um, and then, um, his mom died and he became king in a Jupiter Venus period. During that period, Saturn was afflicting moon, which is his mother. Rahu was afflicting sun, which is, uh, family. And uh, also Jupiter was afflicting Mercury, Mercury's uh, success. Uh, 
The coronation occurred the day after an eclipse. Now, eclipses are not the usually the best time to start things, but apparently a lot of coronations have taken place uh, around an eclipse. Uh, many of his relatives were born on an eclipse, and Diana passed away on an eclipse. So eclipses can uh, result in unforeseen events, surprise revolution, revelations, and can be said for by some to be a bad omen. Um, I think the effect on King Charles will be that he will be torn between what he wants to do versus what uh, he has to do for the country. This will cause an emotional uh, conflict. Now, also on the day that uh, he his coronation happened, um, you see on the left, the outer circle is the transiting planets, and the inner circle are his, his birth planets. So he's, K2 is on top of K2, K, uh, transit K2 on top of natal K2, and transit Rahu on top of natal Rahu. This is called a nodal return. And this is a big indicator for um, uh, it happens every eight years or so, and it reminds us of our destiny. Um, K2 and Rahu are close to the most effective point. They're afflicting uh, six out of his eight houses, and uh, Ra um, Saturn is also close to the most effective point, uh, afflicting four out of the eight houses. So this is uh, this could give him some stress and some uh, inner conflict in uh, in his new job and but we wish him all success and uh, uh, you know what could what remedies you know just doing lots of service and charity work which he does is very helpful for transforming his malefics which are Rahu and Ketu. Jupiter, because it's multiconal sign, uh, Sagittarius uh, is in the sixth house, a challenging house, and uh, Aquarius, ruled by Saturn, is uh, sitting in also a challenging Dustana eighth house. So um, he's probably doing those remedies pretty well. And then uh, a locket, my favorite um, remedy a locket containing the Devatai Yantras for his benefic but weak planets would be helpful. Thank you so much for listening. If you'd like to see this locket called the Kavash, you can go or learn Vedic Astrology or get a Vedic Astrology reading, you can go to www.bastucreations.com. Thank you so much for listening. We wish him all success in his new job.